Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another tutorial with Mr. P. Alright, ladies and gents, in this video, we're going to take a look at variables. Uh, so I'm going to keep going with the same code from the last two videos uh, and expand upon it. So I'm going to get rid of this uh, comment here, this multi one comment. Uh, I'm going to go up to the start of my main and I'm going to create some space. So there are multiple different types of, of variables that you can use in C++. Uh, we can use an integer. Right. And integers are whole numbers. So it could be 55, it could be negative 55. Right. Alternatively we can create a double and a double is a floating point number. Uh, it also has decimal places. So it could be 19.5, uh, or alternatively it could be negative 19.5. From there we move on to the character. So a char will store a single character. Uh, it could be the A, uh, it could be a capital, uh, it could be any type of symbol, and that's in single quotations. From there we move on to string type of variables. Now uh, string is a text variable. Uh, it goes into double quotation marks and it could be something like uh, our hello world. And the last main one that we'll use is a boolean, or a bool. Uh, it is a simple uh, true-false statement. Alright, so now we've got this list of variables. Let's go about creating a, declaring a variable. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create the variable. So we need to know what type of variable we're going to create, uh, and then we need to name it. So I'm going to create an integer. I'm going to give it a name of uh, my age. All right, so you can create an integer like this without declaring it. So from there, we could then go onto another line and declare. So we go my age, equal to, uh, and then give it a number. Right, remembering it's an integer, so it has to be a whole number. Right, alternatively, if we didn't want to do this over multiple lines, uh, we can do this on one line. So we can create our variable and declare it on the same line. And it depends what you want to use your variable for as to whether or not you will declare it straight away or whether or not you will just create it and then declare it later on in your code. So now that we've got our variable, why don't we output it? Now we output it the same way we output any kind of text. Uh, however, instead of using double quotation marks, we just put in our variable name. Alright, so I've got this variable my age. So let's go to my lines of code here. I'm going to do remove these. Right. And instead of saying hello world, I'm going to say uh, my age is, I'll put a colon and a space, put my operator in, and then use the my age variable. So what this will do is it will output the my age is text, and then right beside it, because we haven't included a new line or anything, it will put in the my age variable. So if we run this, right, my age is, and then we have our variable number here, 10. Right, so that's going to be it for this video, ladies and gents. And we'll see you in the next one. 